Pop quiz hotshot. What do witch hunts, the AIDS epidemic, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have in common? The answer will be forthcoming, but first. I want to make it abundantly, overwhelmingly, caucasianally clear that I am 100% in favor of traditional cancel culture. In fact, I want to extend that to note that I am 100% in favor of traditional cultural appropriation. My friends and fellow white nationalists, it's time someone has spoken up about this, so here I am doing just that right now. At at this time. You see, I am a proud, traditional conservative, white, Christian, American, biological man who prefers he, 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 he him pronouns, nouns, adjectives, and she, her genitals. That means I'm straight. I like my clothes Carhartt, my beers light, and my tread on me's don'ted. And like many of you, I'm tired of watching people disrespect my flag and my culture using the exact methods my forefathers used to ensure that my flag and my culture supersedes everyone else's flags and cultures. Praise be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Big Mac. What is traditional cultural appropriation? I'm glad you asked. Going back at least as far as annual Domino's 300-ish, Middle Eastern men, who I assume were white, had been converting old, boring fairy tales from cultures just begging to be genocided into new, sexy religious texts that were palatable to as many of the diverse citizens' newly acquired slaves as possible. What do we call those texts? How about the Bible? Boom! Fast forward a little bit, and a man you might know of goes by the name of Walt fucking Disney, invented the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it was clear to all that the golden age of all civilization had reached ultimate turbo <laughs> platinum <laughs> status. <laughs> I might be underselling this point, so I just want to clarify. Every everything you think of as culture was basically invented by white people through the holy sacrament of traditional cultural appropriation. Ever heard of Thor, Odin, Jar Jar Binks? Well then... You're welcome for our service. What is traditional council culture? Speaking of sacraments, Jesus H. Christ, another famously white biological male, offered himself up to be canceled to ensure that all generations moving forward could partake in what otherwise would have been some pretty cray-cray ideas like pacifism, neighborly love, social wa wait, sorry, wrong script. Pretty awesome shit like the Bush Doctrine, Reaganomics, and for-profit healthcare. And following in his bloody pogo stick steps, we white people have been ritually counseling cultures ever since. Ever realize we currently live in the future? Know how we got here? That's right, traditional council culture. Earlier I asked you, what do witch hunts, the AIDS epidemic, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have in common? Well, here's your answer. Don't worry, I'll let you retake the test if you're comfortable with smashing that like button, smashing that bell, smashing that comment, smashing that computer, smashing it all. The answer is, all of these amazing things have been unfairly subject to the scourge of modern society. Reverse, Reverse cultural, cultural appropriation. It all started when Bell Hooks and Emma Watson joined forces and made a public trade on behalf of each other's respective cultures. Emma was given a lifetime pass to say no, 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 and Bell Hooks was bestowed the traditionally white gift of cancellation, which she promptly um, used to cancel Beyonce. That is a terrorist. Black Twitter, recognizing the power of this new spell bequeathed upon them by Ms. Granger, has run amok ever since. The Pope got canceled. The Family Guy got canceled. And canceled again. Going into public without a face mask got canceled. Again, I want to reiterate that I am 100% for a traditional, white, Christian, conservative cancellation. I just think that the country has just let political correctness go too far. 
we have forgotten the value-added nature of a white man's preference, choosing what does and does not constitute appropriate culture. When you eat your two slices of Wonder Bread jam-packed full of mayonnaise, you don't have to wonder why it's called best foods. You can be sure that that was a white man's call. When you listen to country music, the melon and freest of all the musics, you don't have to ask yourself, why the son of some billionaire super farm stakeholder with a dollar store accent is singing about trucks when you know he's never stepped foot off his family's ranch in New England. You can just listen, comfortable in the knowledge that that too was a white man's decision. But do you really think they know what they're doing with reverse cultural appropriation? Did you see what happened to one of the greatest TV doctors of all times, Dr. Huxtable? How about the eventually whitest king of pop there ever was? Can you see the troubled path we'll head down if there isn't a confident, strong, white Christian man to tell you which cultures to cancel and which cultural concepts are appropriable? Folks, if traditional cultural appropriation dies, our culture goes with it. Literally, the only thing you can do to help fight back is smashing that like button, smashing that be Because sure, you might not immediately miss mayonnaise sandwiches, Matlock, and dancing like this guy, but when they come for your guns, your pride, your flag, the intersectional feminist horde aren't just gonna stop when it aren't just gonna stop when you ask them to. They're gonna come for your student loans, your freedom from suffrage, your minimum wage, your right to pay for substandard healthcare, your right to catcall women and minorities, your low gas mileage, your grass lawns, your access to bottled water.